Hey guys, guys, Jared Romney here from GoPro Tools and Films, and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to make this footage look like this footage. Alright, so first thing you guys want to do when you're trying to make your GoPro footage look like a DSLR is put your color profile on flat. And the reason why I choose this to put it on flat is simply because your DSLR doesn't have the same GoPro color settings that you do. So obviously putting it on flat gives you that capability in post-production to match those shots to your DSLR, which is crucial to make your GoPro footage look like a DSLR. Now the final thing you want to do in your settings is play it with your field of view. Now I recommend putting it on medium or narrow to get rid of the fisheye effect that the GoPro already has. Now a big thing that DSLRs don't have is this fisheye effect. Now you can remove it in post, which I'll show you guys in a second, but putting it on your field of view on medium or narrow is really, really helpful. Now one reason why you wouldn't want to put it on medium and narrow is because you can't use the 4K capabilities that the GoPro Hero 4 Black is capable of. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do that in post-production and get into some other tips and tricks to make your GoPro look like DSLR footage. Alright, so once you guys have gone out and shot with your GoPro, you want to chuck it straight into Final Cut Pro and you want to color grade it. Now the reason why I like to color grade my GoPro clips is simply because you don't have the same color as a DSLR straight out your clip. So I color grade mine with Color Finale. So I just chuck that on. I like to put my mix at 80 to 70%, simply because GoPro doesn't have the same amount of dynamic range and saturation levels as a DSLR would. So you're going to have to push this mix down just a little bit. I open it up. And first of all, I've got a LUT on. Now right now I've used a Fuji 3513 Rec 709 LUT. Now next thing I want to do is go to my color wheels and simply for this shot, I've actually boosted the saturation up a little bit. So I could have maybe boosted my mix up a little bit as well. Now I've pulled down the highlights just a little bit more and I've added a little bit of red pinkish to the shot simply because of its, its sort of sunset time. If you go over here, it just gives it a nice effect to the GoPro clip. All right, so the next thing you guys want to do once you've done is you want to go down to the description and you want to download this free plugin by Alex4D. This simply gets rid of the fisheye on your GoPro. So you just drag this straight on and that will straight up get rid of the fisheye. Simple as that. That's all you guys have to do. You can play around. You can put it on 170, that's 127, which is the medium profile, and then 90 degrees, which is the narrow profile. So all these will give you different effects, whatever fee feels the most best for this shot. So you look for this one, it sort of looks like it's gone a little bit too far here. So I might just go to the 127. The It's nearly, it's pretty flat, try 90. No, nah, so I'm going to go for the 127 for this shot. So that's how to quickly make uh, get rid of the fisheye effect. Next thing you guys want to do is you want to go down to an uh, effect that uh, Final Cut Pro already has in it, and it's called Letterbox. So search up Letterbox drag that straight on. Now this is not so much to make it look like a DSLR, but make it look more look like film. So there's two letterbox just gives you a nice different aspect ratio. So I like to put mine 2 to, two to 0.35 to 1. That gives it a nice effect to it and you know it gets rid of also a little bit of the fisheye on the corners there. The last thing you guys want to do to get the best make your GoPro footage more, look more like a DSLR is you want to do the last video that I did is that high dynamic range thing. So you want to search up your grey JPEG that you've got. So I'm just going to search up grey and here it is, so just down here, my grey PNG that I've got. I want to drag that onto my clip, try to start here. Let's go back down over here, get rid of that for a second. Now well, first of all, you guys remember using that tutorial I showed you, it's going to be completely grey. You want to go to blend mode, chuck it on difference, and you want to put it down to maybe 5 to 2%. And as you can see, it's also affecting that black section here. So you want to go over to the transform button and drag that down just to the letterbox. So let's go to about a little bit lower. That's the best time. So what that'll do is just give you a nice high dynamic, high dynamic range look to your shot, which is exactly what you want for your GoPro because the GoPro doesn't have as much dynamic range anyway as a DSLR. So you go to the shot that we're talking about, so let's just go to here maybe, and its difference is pretty noticeable, so if you go to 2 to 0, it gives it a nice dynamic, high dynamic range look just in the shadows, which is good because GoPro doesn't really have that much detail in the shadows anyway. Alright guys, that's all you need to know for using your making your GoPro footage look like a DSLR. Hope you guys like the tutorial. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.